Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I have a talk through get ready with me um, on this makeup look on my eyes and what I used on my lips. So, it's pretty natural. Um, it's just been what I've been doing to my eyes, you know, what I've been doing basically all summer. Um, now that we're getting into fall, I still really like it, and I will be doing this eye look, you know, also for the fall and winter. And um, this isn't a bright, you know, bold lip for the fall. This is just something... Um, I just started using this lipstick and really like the color. It's still, you know, just very pretty that I would wear all the time. So, yeah, if you guys want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Um, I already put moisturizer on my face. It was just by Clean and Clear. And now I am going to prime my face using the Pore Professional by Benefit. And I, it's just a little sample size that I got for Christmas in, like, a little kit. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my finger like that. And dab it all over my face. And then just rub it in. I think this uh, primer smells really good. It has, like, kind of like a perfume smell to it. All right, so now that that is on, I am going to put some foundation, and I've been using the L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid Powder, it looks like that, and mine is in 326 True Beige, and I do really like this. Now that the fall is just around the corner, um, I am using a, um, more of a full coverage foundation but this isn't full coverage for me I don't think and it's very liquidy so I just like pour some on my finger and dab it all over um all summer I was using a BB cream which I loved but for the winter and fall time I usually like to use a foundation um, right now, like I said, this isn't full coverage, but I really like it. Um, so I've just been using it and I just dab it all over. And I will be using my Sigma um, F80 Flat Kabuki brush. It's all like messed up because it was in my case. And first I'm just going to dab this all over. And then, like, blend it out a little bit. I'm going to put the concealer on after because a lot of times I do it before and after, but I just didn't feel like it today. I didn't think, you know, I do have some blemishes, but I don't think I really need to do it twice today. And blend it out been breaking out actually lately and I don't know why um maybe girl problems you know that time of the month or I don't know I've been a little stressed but okay so now that my foundation is done and don't mind my brows I haven't gotten them waxed or threaded in a really long time because I'm like letting them grow out a little bit okay now I'm going to use my Pro Longwear concealer and I am in NW20 and again I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand like a squirt that might even be too much um, and I will be using just this Real Techniques brush, and this is a pointed foundation brush. Um, but first I will just put this under my eyes, up here, over on my lid, 
and dab it in first. Same with this side. And I'm going to be using the same for my blemishes, so if I have extra, which I will, I'm going to put a little on my blemishes. There, there. This one over here that I just woke up with today, I don't really know what the deal was. Okay, now I'm just going to use this and dab it in. And over here by my nose, I'm just going to like blend it and pat over here. I still, I just bought a um, beauty blender, like a real one, um, but I haven't tried it yet because I'm going to be doing a haul soon. I don't know if I'm going to film that today, but I am doing a haul soon, so I didn't want to like use it yet. So, again over here, but I'm excited to try it out. I bought like a knockoff one um, at TJ Maxx, which I liked it, but I, don't, I think it's going to, you know, do a big difference when I actually use the beauty blender. Okay, I want you just... And just dab. A lot, it's a little bit lighter, but I'm going to be bronzing my face, so it's okay. You can obviously highlight, which I usually do if I want to, you know, really highlight the bridge of my nose. But I don't want to do that today. Okay, so I usually let it sit and um, do my brows. But I'm not doing that today because I just don't really feel like it. Next, I'm just going to be using my Stay Matte Powder. And I'm in 018 Creamy Beige. I'm going to be using my little Kabuki brush by e.l.f. These are like a dollar or something at Target. And just pat it in and then I'm just going to be patting. Um, I don't like to like brush it on because I feel like... It when I do that, it might just um, or if I used to do it, but I feel like it kind of takes away some of the um, foundation down here. I'll you know by my neck, I'll brush it, but when I want to set, I really just dab it on. A lot of times, I mean, I switch it up. Sometimes I do my eyes first and then my face. Or sometimes I do my face, then my eyes. It just kind of depends. Usually with a smoky eye, I'll do my eyes first. But today I'm just doing a little neutral, so I won't get much fallout. Okay. So. Okay, now that is done. And I really love this powder. I'm surprised I haven't hit pan yet. Because um, I use it a lot, but I use a lot of different powders, so that's probably why. Okay, so next I will be doing, um, I guess I'll just finish up my face. So I've been loving my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil, and it's just a light bronzer. So I usually use this just to bronze my face, and I use just this uh, BD um, brush, and... I just bronze all over actually first because I like to just like warm up my face. Some days I just do bronze, sometimes I just contour, sometimes I bronze and contour because for me like this is pretty light. I mean it you know matches very well but I also like to then just contour which I will be doing. So just a little bit. Make sure that my neck is um, matching my face. Right now, I'm pretty pale. I haven't um, self-tanned in like a week. 
I started self-tanning again, and, um, I don't know how much I'm going to do it, though. So, I'm going to be going back to school soon, so, I don't really know. I get, like, in these phases where I enjoy it, and then sometimes I'm like, I don't really feel like it. So, okay, now that my face is bronze, also, I can't believe I completely didn't tell you. I am filming with my new lighting, my umbrella light, so let me know. This is the first time. I didn't even, like, really test it out. This is, I just put it up, hooked up the camera, and decided to try it. So, let me know how this lighting is and, you know, what you think. Um, I hope it's decent um just let me know down below that would be awesome okay now i'm going to be using my laguna bronzer which is falling apart it's all cracked if you could see that and i'm just gonna lightly do a contour i really don't want to do too much but i start from back here like my ear and i go to the middle I don't, you know, pull it down too far. I just lick it and then, you know, around my eye, up here a little bit, and my jaw. So, I just tap the brush on the bronzer and then tap off the, the excess. And just do a little, you know, I just brush it on and then I swirl it just a little bit to, like, blend it out. I really don't want to do a harsh contour today. I do really like contouring. Um, I don't think I'm the best at it. Like, I'm still, like, you know, really practicing with it, trying to get the best. Um, because sometimes, like, on girls, I really like a harsh, like, contour. Like, um, I think some of it, sometimes it looks gorgeous on girls and like, especially like the, by the jawline, um, sometimes I really just love that. But I'm still practicing. So up by the eyebrow. And then I just do a little bit up here. I will be blending, obviously, this all out. But see, it's just very light. Like, right now it looks pretty harsh, but. And by my neck. And I just follow it. And then I bring it down. Okay, now I will be doing blush, and I will be using the Hervana by Benefit, and this is just a natural blush. It's so pretty. I seriously love all these box products, the bronzers, blushes by Benefit, um, and with this, I will be using just my uh, Sedona Lace 850 blush brush, and I'm just going to swirl, swirl it around tap it and with blush I don't really in the for a while I like to you know smile and dab on with the highlight of my apples and bring it back with this I still can because it's very natural but if you do have a brighter or darker blush I would suggest starting back here and working your way because you don't want to put so much product right on your apples because sometimes you will look like a clam so with this, you know, I'll still start and I'll just go like this and rub it and swirl it on. Again, this is very natural, so, like, I don't know, you don't have to be as careful. Like this, I could just, like, brush it on. I really, though, like this blush, like, a lot just for every day like I could wear this without bronzer like I'll use this you know with powder and just blush um it's just like I said very natural so put a little bit on my chin on the bridge of my nose and on my forehead I 
I like that this is very buildable. You know, you can put as little and as much as you want. Okay, so now I'm going to go back in with my Kabuki brush and going to just blend it out. Blend, blend. Blending is like your best friend because you really just don't want harsh lines and don't, you know, just anything too harsh. So now with my face, I don't want to put any highlight or anything, um, but this is like my go-to, like that's been like my face. Um, I just love the look, it's very pretty, it's natural, and that's what I was doing a lot this, um, this last few weeks. And then I will set it with my NYX Dewy Finish um, setting spray, and I'll just do a few sprays, you know, about six inches away like three or four sprays and let that you know sit be the eyes and this is I've been using my naked palette which I'm obsessed with um, the naked basics palette I should say and I'm just gonna use my paint pot and painterly and my finger and just rub it all over and pat it in for this one let me zoom it could be for a natural look, an everyday look, and you could even then do like a smoky eye with it. So patting and rubbing this in. I like to bring this also um, on my waterline. Okay. So I'm just going to do a simple look with this. Just love this. I mean, I'm sure most of you all know what it looks like. So great. Love it. It's beautiful. Okay, so I am going to just use this Maybelline brush. And I'm going to put uh, W-O-S, this one, all over my lid. Pat it all over. I just really like this because it's very neutral, but so pretty bright. Same with the other eye. Just like, I feel like it really just brightens up my neck. eye. Um, and next, I'm going to be using um, Faint in the crease, which looks like that. Okay. And I'm just going to be using, where is my... I've been using this Real Techniques um, brush, it's a crease brush, and it's just very fluffy and dense, which I really like, so I will just be putting, dabbing with my brush, tapping off some of that excess, and just brushing it on. I really like using this because it kind of gives it a smoky look, but it's still just very, very natural, natural, which I like. So I even, I just bring it all the way, you know, you can see. This has just like been my go-to eye look. Oh, I just love it. Tap it off. Mm. Brush it on. Let me know 
comment down below what eyeshadows you've been loving. Because, like I said, I love trying new eyeshadows. I love MAC eyeshadows um, and Urban Decay. Like, they're my favorite. I like drugs. And then, so, yeah, just let me know down below what you've been loving. To just brighten up my eye, I'm going to be using Venus. This one right here. It's just a whiter. I'm just going to use this brush and pop it right in my tear duct just to brighten up this look. Dance out. Let me just pop, make your eyes pop. Especially with my blue eyes, I just love having um, like a highlight in there. Okay. Now I'm going to leave this brush out because I will come back to it. And for highlight, I'm just going to use Foxy. Actually, no, I'll use Venus. Um, and with the same brush. Sometimes I use Foxy. Sometimes I use Venus as a highlight just a little bit. I mean, it kind of looks already highlighted. So just very little. This is, I just love this look. Like, I love this palette. You could do a lot of things with it. Okay. And now I'm just going to blend it all together with my blending brush. Which is where? Okay, this is my Sedona Lace 863. It's my favorite blending brush ever. I would die without this brush. And I'm just going to blend it out. Just a little bit so it's not too harsh. Not much though. And yeah, I just, you know, swirl it back and forth. Swirl it back and forth. And again, you could go back in with um, any of the colors to brighten them up. And a lot of times I'll just, um, depends, like, I'll just carry down the faint down my eye if I wanted to make it more smoky and not use any black liner. But today I will be using a liner. So that's the eyeshadow. And I just love this look. And then I will be using just this Black Magic pencil. I think this is Milani, yeah. And there's a silver side, but that's what it looks like. It's, or I need to sharpen it, actually, but... I'll just do, I just put it on my waterline, I've also been starting to tight line my eyes, I'm not going to do it today, but I do really like tight lining them, and then having just like them, my waterline down below smoked out, that's like, I've been just, I just started doing that like last week, so I'll let you know how I like it, and maybe if you would like to see a tutorial doing that, um, I will do that for you. So yeah, just, but I'm starting again just using shadows as liners lately, so still testing it out and seeing how I like it. So that's my eye look so far, and now on to, and to finish up the eyes, my mascara using these two. It's my uh, the L'Oreal Telescopic Extensions in very black, I think. It black is black. So, actually. Um, yeah, I just really like this um, mascara. Wait, let me make sure my hair is out of the way. And just separates them, gives them some length. And I do put it on the bottom. What I've learned, if you ever get mascara, you know, on your lids or down below, do not wipe it with anything wet. Get a Q-tip, a, a dry Q-tip. You know, let it dry a little bit on you. And then rub it off with the Q-tip. And it comes off perfectly. Okay, and then I will be using Real Techniques, um, 
not real techniques their real mascara by Med uh, benefit this is also my favorite mascara high high end i just love this i will constantly be buying it and this just makes them a bit thicker which i do really like thick lashes um i also like you know like makes them kind of spidery and thick so and just use that on my top lashes And that is how they look. Um, so I really like those two together. So that is yeah, one left in here. So like I said, if there's any down below. All right. See, now you could see it a little better. And that's my eye look. So, on to lips. Um, I'm going to be using Cream Sheen Speed Dial by MAC. And I actually have never even... I used it once. But it's just very pretty pink. I'm like been obsessed with cream sheen lipsticks. And this I really like it because it's just like a natural kind of pink. It kind of like it still reminds me Barbie pink but I just love it. When I swatched it I was like I have to have this. That is what it looks like and I'm actually not going to put a gloss on it because I actually just really like this color. Um, so yeah, that was... So I hope you guys liked this look and let me know down below any other... Um, tutorials you would like to see this has just been my go-to look my go-to eye really um and face and i'm just loving that lipstick um i will have all the products down below and if you guys would like to see um anything my mascara routine and a foundation routine um i pretty much showed you everything but um if you want me to go into more depth of what i'm doing let me know in the comments below let me know about this lighting um and i am just wearing this let me just show you this skull tank top from tj maxx and i just curled my hair with um a curling wand i forget the brand but i got it at tj maxx uh but again i'll have the link below but i just didn't really i haven't done a hair tutorial because i'm not great with hair um but I actually have no hairspray or anything, and I'm really liking how these are, like, falling into place. So, yeah, just let me know again down below what you want to see next. Um, and, um, what else? And also about the lighting. Don't forget, you know, if this lighting's good, if it's not, just let me know. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.